Hello, it's Nikki. Welcome to day 21. I know that this time of year is full of mixed messages. As you go towards the end of an old year and into a new year, it's often a very reflective time. And I know not everybody likes it. <laughs> Let's just be truthful there. Not everybody likes it because it can bring up a lot of stuff. And it's that sometimes is difficult to navigate or it can be all consuming. And especially when we're looking at the end of a year on social media, for example, and Social media has handily created tools that people can use to share their highlight reel. And we know that social media, for the most part, is that highlight reel. Like there are some people that I follow and they literally just share all the great things they're doing. Like you never, ever see a full dimensional version of that person. They literally just show where they've been, where they've eaten, the fun times that they're having, how much they've had to drink, what they bought. It's very much that version. We don't see the down days. We don't see the Monday morning. We don't see the point where their child won't put their shoes on or whatever it might be, or, you know, some more of the darkness as well. And it's interesting when you see those highlights, because quite often the way that people share them is they share the completed version. Like, we went here, tick. I did this, tick. I got that job promotion, tick. And what I want to say is that dreams, goals, plans, big ideas, changes, shifts, rearrangements, readjustments of life are not necessarily things that can politely fit into a year. So you might start on January the 1st of like, right, okay, what is the next 365 days of this year going to be like? And if I don't do it this year, we put, we put all this pressure on ourselves, don't they? If we don't do it by December the 31st, then it doesn't count for anything. And I've learned over the years, especially when I have a lot of people in my circle who have corporate um, work situations or um, just when you have conversations with people, what people are doing or where they're going or what achievements they've had. I know that when I used to hear those sorts of things, I used to somehow find that balance between genuinely being really pleased for somebody and excited and supportive and proud. And I might even have helped them to do that job application or what, you know, I I want to be that friend. But on the trip home or after the conversation, if I'm being truly honest, I've sometimes turned that around and looked at myself and thought, I'm not there yet. Is there something wrong with me? Like, should I have done something different? Maybe I'm not as good as them. And we can go into that comparing situation. But the truth is, we are all running very different races. And we are all doing our own thing in our own time. And it's certainly, probably not going to slot in to some sort of order or logistic or fit cosily into something. And so I want you to establish all the things that you planted last year. And one of the things that I really look at, and this is this is an odd one because I'm not very good with five-year plans. Um, and I'm not sure why. I don't know why that number doesn't work for me, but a decade does. A decade has been something that has been, it's really spoken to me. So I remember my 30th birthday so clearly, like it was yesterday, November 2011. I remember where I was. I remember how I felt. 
I remember the things that I was planning and I really tuned in to what I hoped that decade would be. And some of those things happened right on the edge. So one of my goals for that decade was to move house, (laughs) was to move house. And when did it happen? We, I turned 40 in the November 2021 and we exchanged in the January. So two months after. So technically I was still 40, but only just, only just. And I could have woken up on my birthday in November being like, I haven't done it. I haven't done it. And actually that was the key time. I remember Matt and I went to the Sky Garden for my 40th and we went for a lunch and then we ended up walking back to, I think we had to do the school run or something after that. But I remember walking up through the city of London and Matt is one of those great people. I mean, he's great for lots of reasons, but he's definitely one of those people like I am, but I sort of know different areas where we've both been really, really skint in London where you walk you, you know, that's what we did as students. Like you just find your way home or you go to bus stops and you're like, okay, right. Which vaguely will take me across the river or to the next part of the journey. And so he's always like, come this way. We'll go up here. Da, 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 da. And I remember on my 40th birthday, being in some sort of community garden on the back streets of Liverpool street, having a very serious conversation with the estate agent we were, it felt like we were in a real stalemate where just nothing was moving. And so I was really digging deep onto all those coaching questions and like trying to keep things open, trying to find a way through it, trying to introduce things so we could create some movement. And that's, I think, what we have to recognize that maybe at the end of 2022, Maybe your list of achievements didn't look polite, they didn't look ordered, they didn't look ticked off, but you begun. You begun that journey of making moves. And so to circle back, (laughs) such a corporate phrase, isn't it? To circle back to the decade, I am building things now that I know that I want to do between 40 and 50. And that is how I'm doing things. I'm really thinking that I have to trust the timing because I know that if I continue to take action, to keep doing the things, to keep things moving, to keep releasing things, like all of these things that I know work, I know that I'll get there. You know that moment with a marathon, like if you just keep putting one foot in front of the other or taking breaks or um, giving yourself water or whatever it might be, like, you know, ultimately you will get there one way or another. Even if you have to be dragged along the floor, you will get there. And so if you have looked at any of those highlight reels and thought, I'm not there yet and allowed yourself to really go into that comparisonitis of, well, maybe I didn't do this or, oh gosh, and I'm a failure and I'm whatever. And uh, maybe I can't do it. No, you are doing it by the fact that you are listening to this. You're thinking about where you want to go to next. All you need to do is do more of that. And other people's timings is other people's timings. (laughs) am I going to share this analogy? Yes, I am. Losing your virginity, the desperation to, I mean, this was like a big currency at my school, like the desperation to kiss somebody, to lose your virginity, to go through all the bases. That was a massive talking point. And I remember that moment of thinking, Oh my goodness, will this ever happen for me? (laughs) Will it ever happen? And it did in the end. 
thank goodness my kind of inner teenage self is thinking. But we all get to the same place in the end, you know? And sometimes it is about trusting those timings and and working through that process. (laughs) Anyway, um, thanks so much for listening today. Um, I didn't think I would be talking about virginity, but there we go. Uh, If you are a younger listener and you are thinking about that or if that conundrum is on your heart and mind at the moment, please take your time and um, be safe is all I'm going to say. That's it for now. Um, If you want to find out more about working together, I'm not a sex expert by any means. This is more strictly coaching stuff. Come on over to NikkiRaby.com, N-I-C-K-Y. R-A-B-Y dot com. There is loads of stuff to get your teeth into and I'll see you in the next episode. Lots of love. Bye.